Hey guys, it's your average PS2 gamer here, and I've got the new uh, confirmed perk list from Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'm going to be going through with you guys, as well as giving my uh, opinions on the perks and the point systems, although I'm sure you can see them on the screen. And finally, I'm going to be uh, saying some setups that I think will work well, and some to look out for when Call of Duty Ghosts comes out. Okay, the first setting speed. First one is quick draw, it's one point and it means you can aim down sights faster. Next one is sleight of hand, two points and it means you can reload quicker. Next is agility, which means that you can uh, run around faster. Extreme conditioning is also two points, which means you can run for longer. Finally, it's stalker, which means that you can uh, ADS and move at the same time for and quicker. And this is quite useful if you're gonna rush and I can see quick draw, sleight of hand, and stalker instantly being the, f the favorite set. Next we have handling. Uh, first one is strong arm, which means that you can throw um, your equipment at a further distance. Because in Ghost they've uh, reduced the um, air, so the range that you can throw equipment, and to make up for this, uh, you run strong arms, and it's back to uh, a much larger radius like you're used to. Next we have on the go which means that you can reload while sprinting, which is another useful perk, and that's two points. Next, for two points, we have fast hands, which means that you can swap weapon weapons quite quickly. Next, uh, steady aim, which means that uh, your hip fire spread is a lot tighter, and that's two points. And finally, dexterity, which means that um, you can aim faster after sprinting, and that's also two points. This one, I can see maybe strong arms, maybe. Uh, on the go, definitely and steady aim I can see as well as dexterity so that's quite a useful setup next we have the stealth um, set and that first one is takedown which means that um, when you kill an enemy their team does not get alerted with the death icon above their um, body this can be quite useful when uh, rushing and you don't want them to give away your position and I think this might work well with ping maybe which uh, I'll cover later. Next we have um, blind eye, which means they are undetectable uh, by enemy aircraft, um, which are looking for you to kill you. Next we have off the grid, which means that you're undetectable by enemy satcoms. Um, those are both are two points and takedown is one point. Then for two points of dead silence, which means that it's either um, uh, critically minimal minimalizes um, footsteps uh, of your own or uh, completely silences them not sure about that but we'll see when the game comes out and finally ghost uh, this works differently in ghosts <laughs> and this essentially means that when you're targeted by an enemy um, there's no red cross hair or name um, I think this will be quite uh, good in hardcore so uh, sorry, hardcore yeah, so that's, I keep going to search and destroy hardcore modes. I think this will be quite uh, useful in. Uh, off the grid will also be very useful. I think uh, takedown might be good for, uh, for rushing as well. Next we have the awareness ta um, um, class. Uh, one point we have recon, which means that when you shoot an enemy uh, with a hit marker or damage an enemy with explosives, it paints them onto the minimap. Next we have Scavenger, the fan favourite is back and has been for a lot of Call of Duties in the past and this means that you can replenish ammo, lethals, tacticals um, by running over packs over uh, dead enemies. Next we have Sit Rep, which means that you can detect uh, enemy equipment that has been placed down on the map and on Black Ops 2 this had quite a big range so not sure how that's going to go on Ghost, but hopefully it'll be the same. Uh, next we have Awareness, which means that uh, you can hear enemy footsteps a lot um, louder, which is very useful. And finally there's Wiretap, which is uh, two points, as well as most of the other parts of Recon. And this means that you, can, you steal the power of the enemy SATCOMs. For example, um, to get an advanced UAV uh, for your team, you need to have four SATCOMs on the ground. Now, if you have two SATCOMs and the enemy has two SATCOMs and you have wiretap, that gives you a total of four SATCOMs because that 
um, steals the power of theirs. It doesn't mean that they lose it, it just means that you gain. So that'll be quite useful. Next, uh, we're going to the resistance um, tier. And the first one is lightweight, which means that you take less falling damage, or no falling damage, sorry. Uh, Painkiller at two points, which means that um, you recover health a lot quicker. I can see this um, being useful in aggressive roles and slayer roles. Uh, next we have Toughness, uh, the Black Ops 2 favourite is back and um, they've uh, added it into Ghost now uh, which means that when you shoot or what's it, when you're shot uh, you flinch less so you stay on target and you can kill enemies easier on in, so in gunfights. Um, next we have Tactical Mask which means that uh, you're immune to um, flashbangs, concussions, stuff like that. And finally, uh, Blast Shield, uh, which means that you're uh, more resistant to uh, lethals and launches and explosive damage. Uh, in this, I can probably see Painkiller and Toughness being the favourites. Maybe Tactical Mask. Um, uh, next one is Equipment. Now this one is a bit more special and the um, points are slightly different, but it's there. Okay, so um, the first one is plus one tactical, which means that you get an extra tactical grenade, and that is one point. For two points, you can uh, um, get a one lethal, uh, one more lethal, so that you can carry two lethals essentially. That's for two points. Uh, next, also for two points, is a bandolier, which means that you start off with more ammo. It doesn't mean that you can collect more ammo like um, when you're um, running around like scavenger. But it means that you have lots of ammo right at the start. I think um, some uh, like guns with um, um, low capacity probably need this as well as scavenger, and I think those two will be quite useful together. Probably not necessary together, but I think they'll be used. Next, we have uh, what looks to be primary gunfighters um, or an equivalent, which means that you can get. Uh, a third attachment onto your gun and we believe that, that has two points but we cannot see because of the lock and finally for three points it's danger close and now this time it's also different from black ops 2 where you got an extra lethal uh, this time it means that the blast radius of your explosive equipment is higher however i don't see this being like really useful because chart like a lot of times when you're using lethals they, they are either around corners or something and maybe the radius might be able to catch you and potentially make you lose a gunfight, which is quite soon after. And on to Elite, which is probably the most interesting one. And we'll start with a quite interesting one as well. Okay, so it's Gambler. And Gambler, um, it's not been released, but we believe that Gambler means that you get a random perk. So for one point of Gambler, you... Um, you get a roll of a perk and you'll be alerted when you next um, live if you have gambler i think yeah gambler will be replaced by a random perk it could be a, something as good as dead eye which we'll see soon or it could be something like um lightweight which might not be as useful or um plus one tactical and if you're not running in tacticals it doesn't help okay next we have uh, another fan favorite which has been in a few call of duties and that's hardline which means that um, it requires you less points or less score or whatever um, to achieve a score streak. I think on this one it will be uh, minus one um, point for each score streak. We'll have to see. Uh, next we have ping, and this is also a new score streak, which means so kill streak, uh, which means that uh, when you kill an enemy. Um, it will send off a kind of like a motion sensor kind of thing and it will alert you if any uh, enemies are nearby so you can also take them out and I think this will be quite useful when rushing or if they're in the spawn so when you kill them you can also see where others are as well uh, next we have overkill it looks like and this essentially allows you two um, primaries now I've used um, overkill a few times it's not really necessary but the only times I really use it is if I'm either if I'm ranking up uh, weapons uh, as quick as I can, or in search and destroy sometimes. 
And finally, uh, for five points, the most expensive perk is Dead Eye. Now I'll read what Dead Eye basically does to you, um, and I'll give you my opinion. So for five points, Dead Eye increases the probability of dealing more damage with your weapon when on a larger kill streak. Okay, so you increase the probability of dealing more damage when you're on a larger kill streak. This is for five points. Now, if earlier it was released, uh, sorry, it was um, um, assumed that. Uh, it would be an increase of d uh, damage when you're on a larger kill streak. So maybe by the time you're like 35, it'd be like a one-hit kill of everything. But my guess is is that that would be completely overpowered, and I don't think that would be um, the kind of thing that um, Infinity War would do. Um, so it's now been rumored that it's going to be an increase in probability of dealing more damage. So I think uh, that would be quite a useful perk. But for 5 points, you're going to have to substitute a lot of your other perks out and maybe it might, might not be uh, released. We're going to have to try it out uh, when Ghost released, but for now, we cannot say it. Also, okay, so that's all the perks and just want to quickly say that if you uh, see where either Overkill or uh, Primary Gunfighter is, you can see that it says 99. So what this means is, is what we assume, is that to unlock a perk, um, it costs 99 squad points. Now I'm assuming that um, all the uh, one point perks will be available right at the start and all the rest will probably be um, locked and you'll have to unlock them with your points. Okay, so I'm just going to be reading a few of my um, ideas of sh um, useful streaks together and then we'll see um, what you guys think as well, leave a comment below um, of what your creations would be with the 8 to 11 perks or what your loadouts would be and um, subscribe, like and we're going to go to the second part which will be the uh, few setups.